Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Today we are looking at another little golden book, Margaret Wise Brown's The Sleepy Book. It has a picture of a very cute bear on the cover. Yes, obviously author Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Garth Williams. And I actually want to start by reading the acknowledgement that's under this very cute picture of a black cat and her kittens. Very cute. The author learned the song all the Pretty Little Horses in this book from Mammy Letty Letty Hinton and Sugar Meat Hinton of Halifax, Virginia. A somewhat different version has been copyrighted by the late John Lomax. The version in this book is printed with his kind permission. The Whispering Rabbit Once there was a sleepy little rabbit who began to yawn, and he yawned and he yawned and he yawned and he yawned. Hmm... He opened his little rabbit mouth when he yawned till you could see his white front teeth and his little round pink mouth. And he yawned and he yawned until suddenly a bee flew into his mouth and he swallowed the bee. Ouch. Hoo hoo, said a fat old owl. Always keep your paw in front of your mouth when you yawn, hooted the owl. Okay, apparently this is a manners book. Rabbits never do that, said the sleepy little rabbit. Silly rabbits. Tricks are for kids said the owl, and he flew away. The little rabbit was just calling after him, but when the little rabbit opened his mouth to speak, the bumblebee had curled up to sleep in his throat, and all he could do was whisper. What shall I do? he whispered to a squirrel who wasn't sleepy. Wake him up, said the squirrel. Wake up the bumblebee. How? whispered the rabbit. All I can do is whisper, and I'm sleepy, and I want to go to sleep, and who can sleep with a bumblebee? Suddenly, a wise old groundhog popped up out of the ground. All I can do is whisper, said the little rabbit. All the better, said the groundhog. Come here, little rabbit, he said, and I will whisper to you how to wake up a bumblebee. You have to make the littlest noise that you can possibly make, because a bumblebee doesn't bother about big noises. He is a very little bee, and he is only interested in little noises. Like a loud whisper? asked the rabbit. Too loud, said the groundhog, and popped back into his hole. A little noise, whispered the rabbit, and he started making little rabbit noises. He made a noise as quiet as the sound of a bird's wing cutting the air. But the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of snow falling, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of a bug breathing and a fly sneezing and grass rustling and a fireman thinking. <coughs> Still, the bee didn't wake up. So the rabbit sat and thought of all the little sounds he could think of. What could they be? What could they be? Also, just for reference, all the whispering written in the book is in a much smaller font. Mm, very handy, that. A sound quiet as snow melting, quiet as a flower growing, quiet as an egg, quiet as... And suddenly he knew the little noise he would make, and he made it. It was like a little click made hundreds of miles away by a bumblebee in an apple tree in full bloom on a mountaintop. It was the very small click of a bee swallowing some honey from an apple blossom. Don't bees normally make honey? Wouldn't it be nectar? Yeah, good point there. And at that, the bee woke up. He thought he was missing something, and away he flew. And then what did the little rabbit do? That sleepy, sleepy little rabbit. He closed his mouth, he closed his eyes, he closed his ears, and he tucked in his paw, and twitched his nose, and he went sound asleep. Rabbit Poem Nobody knows a rabbit's nose, the way it twitches, the way it goes, constantly on his face. Nobody knows a rabbit's ears, the way he listens and what he hears, and his sad little rabbit tears. Nobody knows a rabbit's eyes, red as rubies without surprise, in his square fur face. Ah, all the pretty little horses. I remember reading this as a whole separate book. Mm. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleepy little baby. When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses. 
black and bay, dapple and gray, all the pretty little horses. Mother loves you, daddy loves you, everybody loves baby. The butterflies and the flies are buzzing round your eyes, so go to sleep, little baby. And after you sleep, I'll give you a jeep. Go from horses to jeeps. And all the pretty little horses, black and bay, dapple and gray, all the pretty little horses. Mother loves you, daddy loves you, everybody loves baby. And the music is actually written here in the book. Ah. Unfortunately, I don't remember how to read music. And I don't really feel like singing right now. Yep. Well, you can find it in the book yourself if you decide to pick up a copy or, you know, it's probably in a library somewhere. Yes, and I'm sure that there are plenty of recordings out there of people singing this lullaby. Hmm. But moving on. Close your eyes. Little donkey on the hill, standing there so very still, making faces at the skies. Little donkey, close your eyes. Silly sheep that slowly crop, night has come and you must stop. Chewing grass beneath the skies, silly sheep, now close your eyes. Little monkey in the tree, swinging there so merrily, throwing coconuts at the skies, little monkey, close your eyes. Little birds that sweetly sing, curve your heads beneath your wing, no more whistling in the skies, little birds, now close your eyes. Little horses in your stall, stop your stomping, stop it all. Tails stop switching after flies. Little horses, close your eyes. Little pigs that snuff about. No more snorting with your snout. No more squealing to the skies. Noisy pigs, now close your eyes. Old black cat down in the barn, keeping four black kittens warm. Winds are quiet in the skies. Dear old black cat, close your eyes. Yep, and there's the black cat and her kittens from the beginning of the book. Mm-hmm. Nice reuse of artwork. Little child all tucked in bed, looking like a sleepy head. Stars are quiet in the skies. Little child, now close your eyes. Little donkey, close your eyes. Silly sheep, now close your eyes. Little monkey, close your eyes. Little birds, now close your eyes. Little horses, close your eyes. Noisy pigs, now close your eyes. Dear old black cat, close your eyes. Little child, now close your eyes. Going to sleep. All over the world, the animals are going to sleep. The birds and the bees, the horse, the butterfly, and the cat. That was drawn by someone who knows cats. <laughs> yeah, it is a very cute image of this curled up kitty. In their high nests by the ocean, the fish hawks are going to sleep. And how does a young fish hawk go to sleep? The same as any other bird in the world. She folds her wings and pushes herself deep in the nest, looks around and blinks her eyes three times, takes one long last look over the ocean, then tucks her head under her wing and sleeps like a bird. And the fish in the sea sleep in the darkened sea where the long green light of the sun is gone. And they sleep like fish, with their eyes wide open in some quiet current of the sea. And above and beyond, under the stars on the land, all the little horses are going to sleep. Some stand up in the still dark fields, and some fold their legs under them and lie down. But they all go to sleep like horses. Like horses. Yes. Because they're horses. Mm-hmm. wonder if that's anything of, like being like a boss. Mm. Of course, this book was written way before that. Yes. Even the bees and the butterflies sleep when the moths begin to fly. And they sleep like bees and butterflies. Under a leaf, or a stick, or a stone, with folded wings and their eyes wide open. For fish, and bees, and butterflies, and flies never close their shiny eyes. And the old fat bear in the deep, dark woods goes into his warm cave to sleep for the whole winter. And there's the bear from the cover. Yep. So do the groundhogs and the hedgehogs, the skunks and the black-eyed raccoons. They eat a lot, then sleep until spring. A long, warm sleep. Hmm. This seems like one you, that you use to get the kids to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Hopefully our listeners are still awake. I hope. I almost fell asleep. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> if you notice, Lux didn't have a lot of commentary this time. I think I was starting to hypnotize him. Yeah, maybe. 
I don't know. I'm awake, I think. <laughs> and this has been another segment of Ember's Reading Room. Hope you've enjoyed listening. If you did, please check out other Ember's Reading Room entries. You can look around and check out other videos on our channel. Most of them aren't about books, but there may be something you find interesting. Keep up to date with what we're doing by clicking the subscribe button. If you'd like to support this channel, you can also check out the Patreon and Coffee links under Luxbrush. Check for the Amazon links in the Ember's Reading Room videos. Anytime one of the books we read is in print, we will try to give you a link so that you can check it out for yourself. Also included in the Ember's Reading Room links is a referral link for the company Ebates. They provide cash back for purchases made when you start at their site, use their cash back button, or mobile app. If you sign up using the referral link and make a qualifying purchase, you will get a reward, and I will get a reward. Thank you so much for listening. Hope to see you back here next time. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of Ember's Reading Room or any content on our channel.